Well, hello, people! Welcome back to another episode of the Talos Principle with me, your favorite robot. Uh, trying to think, do I have robot abs? I feel like these bands might be robot abs. So, uh, we're here solving puzzles at the behest of our of our evil overlord, Elon Musk. Mm. Man, I'm so fast. So we need, we're in A, we're in section A, so we have two more puzzles to solve. And that... Hello? Hello? Hey! Ah! God, I'm so scared. Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Recording November 23rd, 0186. I told you I'm not... I told you I'm not the first one. That freaking scared me. It was a ghost of. Oh man, I don't like I don't like horror games, and a ghost of a robot was enough to send me over the edge of like, mm, that's too scary for me, too spooky, too spooky for me. Oh man. So where the heck is one of these purple doors? We need a purple door with this. Look at that view. I probably can't swim. Hey, well you know what it is. Each one of these islands is probably a new little section. So this is section A. What's that over there? I want that thing. Whatever it is, it's mine. I'm so fast. Oh, hey! It's Oddball, the computer! Library session, Milton! Unrecognized error. Hey! Hello. Oh, okay. List. From my mouth. List! Library archive is currently unavailable while system resources are redirected to handle incoming network messages. There's an incoming network? Access. Com. Connecting network. Error. Run MLA? Yeah. Hey, Milton. Initiating plain language. Done. Hello, guest. Is there something I can help you with today? Uh, what, what's up? The MLA program is designed... Yeah, we did that. Troubleshooting. I'd like... Uh, I'd like to... Ooh. I think you'd like help accessing network functions. The most common cause of network problems is holding insufficient account privileges. Please enter your password. Uh, admin. Checking password. Incorrect. Try again. Um, trust no one. Password incorrect. Uh, God. Uh, aborted too many failed attempts. Would you like to create a new admin account? Yes. In order to prevent unauthorized access to admin controls, please take a moment to prove you are not a bot. Okay, um... You will now be asked a series of inputs. To cohere with data protection legislation, you must consent to have your responses used to develop a broad psychometric profile. Raw response data will be deleted immediately. Your profile will only be made available to other administrators. Generating significant... Oh uh, yeah, so of course, of course. Uh... Question one. Two plus two is four. That's not really a good robot. Okay, what is your subjective reaction to this image? Uh, there's a face. There's a face. The input has been accepted. What best describes a person? Um, a, a, a human being. That's probably the best. A human being. You're walking through a... Oh, no. <laughs> was it... Was it in, in Blade Runner? It's like, you're walking through the desert. You see a turtle. You flip the turtle on its back. It's baking in the sun. Why would you do that? And I'm like, oh, oh no. Apparently, apparently if you're a robot, you flip the crap out when you're flipping over turtles. You're walking through the desert and you come across a thirsty traveler. His eyes bulge from slow dehydration. You have water, but you're not sure how far it is to the next oasis. What do you do? Hmm... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna... I don't know, this is all subjective, right? Because I'm not gonna offer him half. That's... I feel like that's the most computer answer. Well, there's two of us that are thirsty, so I'm gonna offer him half. That's the most... makes the, most, makes the most sense. Offering all the water, that's true altruism. And that doesn't make any sense for humans. Ignore him, that kind of makes the most sense, but then you're kind of a dick. Kill him and collect his blood in a flask. Well, can you drink blood? Is that good for you? 
I think he'll throw up, so I'm not going to do that. Ask him what he's doing. Your input has been accepted. Part 1 of the certification process is now complete. You will receive a notification when Part 2 has been generated. Terminating. Okay. Resuming library archive session. Cache. Uh. Air, air log. Um. The day I oft remembered when from sleep I first awaked and found myself reposed under a shade on flowers, much wondering where and what I was, whence whither brought, and how. Sure. Arg Solutions. Uh, Bob Rakovsky to 108 recipients. Grarg. All, all these calm people are driving me mad. Have they all suddenly turned into Buddha or something? I didn't know the world had such reserves of serenity. All these latter-day Gautamas are at least somewhat realistic. You know what's even worse? Those paranoid nutters who are building bunkers and collecting guns. What are they going to do? Shoot. Tip. Though I have to admit the overall response has been better than I ever anticipated, to the point where I might be moved by the beauty of humanity if I wasn't such a grumpy old fart. This minority of total idiots is really messing up my final days. Anyway, the reason I'm writing this is to refuse to believe... I refuse to believe in scenarios with absolutely no solutions. If we all put our heads together, we can figure something out. It'll be crazy, but crazy is better than dead. Crazy is what we do best on this planet. So humanity died? Elon killed them. I knew it. I mean, at a certain point, he's going to have a fleet of robots and a fleet of s starships. Topic 3. One day you discover that you are not a human being, but a machine. Your life so far was real. No one controlled you or programmed you to behave in some specific way. Your physical and mental capacities are identical to those of an organic human being, but you were created in a lab. No one except you knows this. Your family, your friends, they all think you are a regular human being like themselves. You could continue to live your life the way you have before and nothing would change. How do you react? Pay specific attention to the questions. Does your concept of yourself change? Are you the same person you thought you were? Do you understand... Oh, does your understanding of the world itself change? Do you reveal the information to others, or do you keep it to yourself and why? 1,500 to 2,000 words. The 26th is the final deadline. No extension will be granted. Submit an email, but... Well, if sudden, Like, if... First of all, I would feel like I was crazy if I suddenly decided that I was a robot. I'm like, but I'm completely normal in every single way. And I have to sleep, and I have to eat, and I have to poop. But I'm a robot. I, th I don't think... I think nothing changes. Nothing ever changes. I wouldn't tell anybody because they think they think I was crazy. The concept of myself, I feel like if I knew I was a robot, I could push myself a little bit harder. I feel like, but I th I think that's just more of the placebo effect where you're like, no, I'm a machine. I can do this. I can, you know, you know, quit smoking or I I, I could go to the gym this morning. I'm a robot. I can I can do it. I think that's it. That's all I can do here. Two texts added. Now what do we do? We're still looking for those two puzzles, hey? Should I just keep running around the island? Oh, I'm so fast. Robots move with such speed. Such alacrity. Can I jump? Woo! Oh, there's gonna be not there's gonna be a combat yeah, see there's I think there might be enough islands out there for puzzle rooms, so. Alright. Let's head to the main area? Have I done this one? Look, I found one. I found one. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So go this way. Oh. Would you look at that? Perfect. So we we have we found a puzzle to do. Oh, suicide mission. Oh man. You don't even have to give me puzzles. Just like sit me. Okay. You don't even have to give me puzzles. Just sit me down, and you're like, you are a robot, and I'm going to prove it to you, and just have the entire game just do that. supposed to do? Can I... Will this turret shoot the robot? It must, right? Shoot the robot. Shoot him. Shoot the robot. Huh. Well, would you look at that? 
We're so smart doing all the puzzles. See, robot on robot violence seems a little dirty to me, you know? Shouldn't we all just get along where the last one's alive? So, is Elon... Oh, that wasn't the right one. That was a yellow one. We don't want the yellow ones. We want the green ones. So let's go back here. Oh, and it even tells me which ones I've already done. Okay. What was that beeping? Okay, so this is the teleporter room? So I feel like all of this is done. I have to go back. You there. Loading library station. Searching local cache. Ian. Open Ian. From Frank Nagatai to Miles Nagatai and Dan. Ian. The first day at the Institute for Applied Nomadics. Oh, my first day at the Institute. On the way to work, I'm terrified. What if they don't like me? What if they're all geniuses and I'm a complete buffoon? Maybe they were just kidding about letting me into work there. Trembling, I walk in and right at the entrance there's a life-size poster of Jeff Goldblum. What the hell? Then I get it. The Ab Institute for Applied Nomadics. Ian. Dr. Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park Movies. Jeff Goldblum. Dr. Sarabdai. Sarab, hi. Shows up smiling. We were trying to find a cool acronym back when the Institute was founded. She says, Inan... IAPN, Inapno. All of that sounded stupid because we just wanted to call it Ian because, well, that's a name. And someone made the joke about calling it Jeff, and it kind of stuck, so we were fishing called Ian. But if you hear anyone referring to Jeff, that's our internal name, I guess. I know, I know, but it is. Well, that was useless. Talos Principle. Ooh! Stratton of Stagira. Whether it's true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say, he was the creation of Hephaestus, what we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze, and had but one vein, within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which was some claim which some claim was quicksilver, and others assert it was ichor such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die, as man dies when he loses his blood. May we not say then Talos, though created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man, he moved on his own volition, he spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires, indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. If, then, a machine may have all the properties of man, and act as a man, while driven only by the ingenious plans of its construction and interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all schools of metaphysics, yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. Fair enough. Leave blood inside body. Got it. Athena analysis. Ooh, gibberish. Novel's first sentence. She woke up in an impossible place knowing nothing. Signifies more than the beginnings of another amnesia-based mystery, though we should not go so far as to read the entire work as allegory. Rather, while taking the science fictional novice at the core of the narrative at face value, we should, having no inherent knowledge of the nature of the world, forced to rely on what we are told by others and what our own subjective flawed limited senses can tell us, social reality, belief, and objective reality, matter, come into conflict. When in chapter 16, a second awakening in the kingdom of Artemis, the protagonist questions her mentor on the a more meaningful interpretation can only be achieved through synthesis of... Alright, um... We're learning things. We're learning things about, uh... Talos? Daedalus? Beautiful. Uh, oh, okay, okay, so yes, yes, yes. So I should remember... So there's stars I can get. I'm not super, super care, caring about the stars. Okay, so we just have to... Oh, so if we do this one, we'll finish A. Right? I don't know what that'll do. It'll do something. Let's try to finish A. So there's two and two in here. Yeah, see? Oh, it even tells us. Look at that. We're just, just so helpful. Okay. Ooh! Oh, man, there's so many. Okay. What do? What do? So what we want to do... Okay, we got this, we got this. We want to slowly turn these guys off so they can get through. Can I have you back? Thank you. 
Mew, hey. Beautiful. See? How do? Easy peasy. I'm a squeezy. So, um... I'm so excited. I'm just... I have a, I have a new... I have a new energizedness for this game. Poking a sleeping lion. Okay, well that's a gun. So let's try to avoid the gun. How how do? Okay. Oh, well, so we'll figure this out. We'll figure it out. So let's turn off the gun. How are you going to move? Let's not do that, because then I'll be way too close and the gun will the explosion will kill me. So let's do that. Let's uh, grab you. Okay. Let's turn you off. Let's turn you off. And what do you do? Are you just going to go back and forth? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Easy. Done and done. Look at us go. But you know what? Come on. Really? I solved the puzzle. You should open the gate for me. But you know what? That's probably a good spot to take a break. I know we didn't get a whole lot done, but hey, guess what? That's the Talos principle. That's what Talos was all about. It was all about, hey, little 15 to 16 minute little little sections. Get your beak wet of all the puzzles. Wait, that's not the way I have to go. Which way do I have to go? Oh no, that is the way I have to go. But you know what? So tune in tomorrow for more Talos principle. This has, of course, as I said a thousand times, been the Talos principle. I have been your favorite machine puzzling monkey smash keys. Actually, I'm not a monkey. I'm just a machine. I'm used to saying monkey all the time. And you, have a nice day.